Welcome to the 2019 Scott Joplin International Ragtime Festival. It's our pleasure to host our visitors and have everybody from across the world come to Sedalia, Missouri. Our mission is to make sure that ragtime survives and is part of the cultural landscape. And it's very important in Sedalia, Missouri as the birthplace of ragtime that we keep that tradition alive and that we show how we're relevant to modern American music. We are currently standing on the mezzanine level of the historic Hotel Bothwell in downtown Sedalia. In the early 1900s, there was a very a wealthy attorney turned philanthropist named John Homer Bothwell, and this hotel was one of his projects. He put down the money, started the footprint, and built this property um, to be an elegant, upscale place for business travelers at the time. He was a circuit judge, and he was out making one of his rounds out through the country. He came up here and fell in love with the property and uh, decided right then and there that he wanted to own it. When you come out here as a visitor, uh, you're getting the experience that Bothwell would have had himself. 95% of the things inside this lodge were his items. So even if you don't really care so much about Bothwell the man, this at least gives you a glimpse back in time, a time capsule, if you will, of what this would have been back when he was here. In the 1800s, Georgetown, which is a small town just north of Sedalia, uh, attempted to be the county seat with not much uh, success. So when they decided uh, to build the Katy Depot in this particular spot, that moved everything from the county over here. So this is kind of the mainstay and the beginning of the Sedalia community. I personally think that the Katy Depot is an unrealized landmark in today that a lot of people just don't know about. And if they ever take the time to visit this building, look through the museums and different things that are actually here, they'll be mind struck by it. Now there's so much history that goes so far back in this building that people just don't realize it. And once they have an opportunity just to walk through it and meet some of the volunteers and staff that work here and do such a great job, they will come back time and time again. Um, we're in the Dom Museum of Contemporary Art in Sedalia, Missouri. This is a fairly new institution. We opened to the public in 2002 on the campus of State Fair Community College. A lot of people remark that it's an unusual town to have a museum of contemporary art, um, especially abstract art. So our challenge and our greatest pleasure comes from sharing the complexity of contemporary art with an audience that might not always be familiar or comfortable with that kind of artwork. Today we are in the historic Missouri State Fair Coliseum. So young people, when given the choice of where to exhibit, they choose the, the Coliseum over a more modern facility here on the fairgrounds. And I think uh, when they walk in here, there's just a certain sense of energy and history and, and being able to walk the same footsteps that people have been walking in here for over a hundred years. And it, it gives them a sense of belonging and history and um, connectedness that they don't get anywhere else. So what we consider ourselves is rails, trails, and ragtime. We've got the Katy Trail running through the state that comes through Sedalia. We've got the Railroad Heritage Museum and Scott Joplin. But not only that, we're a city on the move. We're growing. Uh, industry is locating in Sedalia. So it's really fun to be a part of not only history, but the future.